Yo guys, what is going on? My name is Mr. Ginge. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm playing some Gorod Crovey, the new map of the DLC. I'll let you watch this before we jump into the game. So you have, you probably have seen this if you were, if you're a fan of zombies, you would have seen it on other people's channels, advertised on YouTube and stuff. It's a pretty good uh, intro to to the mish, uh, to the like mission thing. Uh, we can see the four characters flying down: Rick Toffin, Takio, Clint Dempsey, and Nikolai. Obviously, we've been thrown out of this uh, massive portal that was in the air from Zetsubono Shima. I'm not actually going to skip it so you can watch the full thing. One thing I don't think is very good about this like intro thing is the when the when the four characters land, I just don't think it looks very good. You'll see what I mean uh, at the end of the thing where the land in front of Nikolai 1.0. It just doesn't, it just looks strange. I don't know. Pretty cool soundtrack to have in the background though, Ace of Spades. There we go, there's Nikolai 1.0 in this machine. He must have obviously built to survive against these zombies. The zombies actually look like the zombies off Mob of the Dead with the red eyes, which is damn cool. Well good. I didn't I did enjoy Mob of the Dead, but I thought it was a hard map, so this is where the characters landed, it just doesn't look right at all. After this Nikolai after Nikolai 1.0 shoots this dragon and fails. There they are. Mm, so now, it just doesn't look right. It just doesn't look right. <gasps> Nikolai 1.0 doesn't realise that's himself from the future. Or from the past. I don't know which one it is. He tries to kill them, obviously. Further on in the game, we have to try and find Nikolai. Uh, Nikolai 1.0. I haven't got to that before, but we'll try. I, I don't think I'm going to try and do that today. He gets launched into a building. He doesn't seem to be that far away, but when we... Hmm. So here we go, guys. That looks pretty cool. Hopefully I'm Nikolai. I don't want to be anyone else. Come on. Am I Nikolai? Yes, we're Nikolai. Let's go. Belinsky Square, that's my square. Oh yeah. I'd go ahead and either buy the RK5, obviously, or the Shiva. I'm gonna go ahead and buy the Shiva. I will buy the RK5 as well, but the Shiva is good for a low round. It's not good for a high round, it's pretty crap. So it's good for about up to round maybe seven, I'd say. But you don't want to keep it that long because, like I said, it's not the best weapon in the world. These boards have certain challenges and I don't know, I can't remember what they do once you complete all the challenges. You can see we've got four different ones. Um, the Dragon Egg, it's pretty easy to do, but it's hard at the same time because you have to go to a certain, you have to go to certain areas, put it in like tanks and everything. It's just quite hard. The zombies are actually pretty fast um, for like a slow, um, for like a, a low round. They're pretty fast. So round two, I was playing the other day and it was just like steaming after me and I didn't know what to do. I was just like training it around this area because I wanted to, because I bought two guns and I wanted to buy a gobble gum. So I might buy a gobble gum. Let's go. Give me something good. I haven't got good gobble gums up. I'll just take Phoenix up. So it's not very good. I haven't got... No, oh, it's shit, actually. I'm going to change that when I get enough money. Um, because I just don't... I don't see the point in... I do like gobble gums, but... Uh, the only good one I think is Perkaholic. There is a few other ones that are good, but... I don't even think I've ever had Perkaholic. I don't even know. So what happens this day? This dragon is pretty cool, this, well, this dead dragon here, it uh, just shows how big the dragons actually are. Ugh. Uh, obviously he's had something rather rich for 
uh, to eat. Whoa, what? Oh, you, you fiend, I was looking at that dragon, all right, you ogre. Right. Don't do that again, thank you. Just look at it. Just look at its face. It's just a beast. All right. Boom. 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 This map actually is really detailed. I think it's better. Obvious. It's better than Zetsubo no Shima. Any map, it looks better. It's just you put a lot of effort into it. So, uh, quite like a couple of seconds back, you saw a zombie running at me at like round three. Um, the these zombies seems to seem to have changed. They like run really fast. Uh, uh, at, um, at a low round, which is pretty annoying because you have to be aware of them. I think we might stay in here for this round and then we'll leave. Seems to be some water there. Go on, lad. We might have to open that door sooner than we think. Because it might just... See, that ro zombie's running pretty fast. So, like I said, you want to be aware of that. Jesus, shit. I think I might have to leave this area. I'm afraid. Ow. Yep, we're leaving. We're leaving. So, you want to open this door. KRM there if you need it. If you like it, if you need it. What's that? We'll take that. Right. We want to make our way up to the second floor. And then there's an Elkar 9 there as well. If you want that, need it, like it. So we'll try and go back in here. That one just didn't want to die. Fiend. If you do stay, you probably know this as well. But if you do stay in an area too long... A dragon will come, breathe fire down. It will kill the zombies or turn them into napalm zombies like the ones off town of Black Ops 2, where it was like one shot to kill if they walked into the fire. And if they were, you killed them near you, then it would be like, it would damage you. It would like hurt you a bit. Um, they do the, do that, but you want to be aware of the fire. You don't want to get killed by the fire because it is deadly, obviously, because you could burn to death. So after we've walked around here, we want to open another dot, um, like debris barricade thing. This one here. I'm going to buy the CUDA because I'm losing ammo. After we've gone up here and bought the CUDA, I personally like the CUDA. It's my favourite gun on zombies and multiplayer. Um, we want to run straight ahead down here to another barrier of debris. Open this up. That's one grand. And then we're in this, like, infirmary ward thing. Get a 300 points there. Maybe not. Some of them work and some of them don't. The box is here, which is pretty damn useful. Anyway, we want to... Once we've been in the infirmary, we want to make our way down over here. Open this one. And then run down these stairs. Follow it. And up here. And there's the power, guys. Hopefully that gives you an idea. If you, if you do need to have another look just skip back pause the video um to see how the power works and then we've got sophia in here with us as well that's sophia you probably know sophia i'm not gonna explain sophia because i'm not that i don't have that much knowledge on it myself but again people who like zombies will have much knowledge them things there that you saw behind me they're the platforms that you mount um when you want to dr when you want to ride a dragon which is pretty cool. They've made platforms, individual platforms to do it. Oh God, we've got a lot of zombies here. Jesus Christ. I really need to up get more kills on this weapon so I can get like... Oh, we've got the... Dr yes, right. When we put that down, we, we've got to do this like wave thing where we survive against the zombies. I don't know. I don't know how long we'll last here, lads. What a... Should we transfer to the RK5? Let's train these couple of zombies. Right, so once you get this, like, code cylinder, dragon code cylinder, you want to go back up to the room where the dragon platforms are, here, and put it in here. Once you've done that, you want to run back down the stairs. Fuck. Hang on. You want to run back down the stairs. 
and then you have to do like this little wave thing to in order to pre protect this machine these zombies that go for this machine will only go for the, this machine and not you so the zombies will they'll go for the machine not you so you want to be aware of that once you collect enough because you kill all the zombies for the souls then it will charge up and you will get a piece this piece goes towards um, so you can fly the dragons so you need two more after this I'm not sure how to do the other two. Oh no there's a dragon there there's a dragon there's a dragon who oh, that was close we're running low on my ammo and my cuda shit come on fire move I'm gonna die here fuck off right and, ah, ah, ah. right I, I think I'm gonna die max ammo oh Ah, uh, no, 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 no. I'm dead. Oh. Anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully it gave you a tip. I'm not very good at zombies, as you can see. But what you have to do once that is charged, you collect the piece. And then you need two more. One from the terminal area and another one from, like, the supply depot. Uh, you need to do the same thing. Protect that little machine thing. And then you'll get you'll be able to drive like fly the dragon towards pack a punch once you're at pack a punch to get back out of it you go like down this um it's like down this sh uh shaft area thing where you jump in and it's full of water it's pretty fun actually you slide down there and it launches you into the air back to the spawn Hopefully it gave you a few tips how to do the power. That's all I really wanted to show you guys and to how to do that first thing. Uh, I'm sorry I couldn't complete it. There was a lot of zombies. You just need to be aware. As long as you've got Cuda and probably try and get Jug as well, then you might be like good on track. So hopefully you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Hopefully I helped you out and I'll see you in another one soon. Cheerio.